What is up guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. I have a short one for you today. We live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and we have a crazy heat wave. It's like 80 degrees, which is insane. It's February 20th. Um, you'll probably be seeing this the 21st, but I wanted to do some riding today and all of our snow melted and it's been raining for the past week. So I figured I'd do some urban riding. So check this out right here. I wanna do a little review on this bike here. It is a 2015 KTM 300 XC. Now that is the 302 stroke, it's basically a 250 with a little bit bigger piston. It is the XC, so it is the woods bike, it has the bigger tank, a couple extra goodies. Now this is my dad's bike. As you can see, he has the thing pretty thrashed, um, but the thing rips. I absolutely love a 300 XC two stroke. We have a FMF gnarly pipe, FMF shorty silencer. I mean, we're gonna talk about bolt-on horsepower. It'll damn near rip right out of your hands every single time. Engine internals all stock. I think the jettings all stock. Um, I think it has SRT rad braces. Carbon fiber pipe guard, which I don't know. I don't really like it. Kind of holds the heat in. Um, skid plate, SRT, rear disc guard, I think a TM design, rear chain slider. That is it for the bike, um, minus like little stuff like ARC levers. <clears throat> now this bike here is in fact street legal. I have all of the paperwork, insurance, registration, all of the goodies. <laughs> So it is 100% road legal, which is crazy. This is a two-stroke dirt bike that's legal to ride on the road license plate there. And, um, you know, it just, it basically, it makes that tire light up real good on the track. I mean, it's fat. Um, KTMs, I know that their titling is a little different than regular dirt bikes. They have, I think they come with a motorcycle title or like kind of like a hybrid type title. So you can title them either way. All we did for this bike here was purchase a light kit. Now this light kit is from a company called Sick Ass Racing. I know that's kind of a weird name, but they make a really nice light kit for KTM two strokes. Actually any, any KTM period, not just two strokes. You can get everything you need. It's a direct plug and play. You don't have to splice wires, do anything funky, super easy on the install. And you have the choice to go with the OEM front number plate with the OEM light, which is very nice. I don't like those cheesy aftermarket ones like a poly sporter something else like that for turn signals they got a couple different options these are like the low profile amber turn signals they tuck in behind the front headlight here super nice they have like a little flex pod deal so they can they can take a little bit of abuse i think my dad actually has broke those off a couple times um and then for the tail lights here or the actual rear turn signals they tuck underneath of the rear fender which is super nice. I mean, this is the tail light here, and then you have your flush mount, low profile turn signals. So, this bike is fully 100% road legal. Inspection sticker is right there. It expires 7 of 18, so we got a little bit left on her. Um, I did put DOT tires on it just to make the inspection go a little seamless because practically it is a dirt bike. So, front and rear tires are DOT spec. They actually suck. I don't even know what kind of rear tire this is here. I just got a cheapy just to put on. It's a Kenda Trackmaster. I mean, don't ask me this. Front Scorpion XC Midsoft. This is actually a decent front tire. I kind of I like those. They handle pretty good. <clears throat> the tires are a bit jumpy on the road. So if you're cooking, I don't know, maybe like 45, 50 mile an hour, they do hop a smidge. I went through and trued the wheels. So it's definitely not the rims. 
Um, there is heavy duty tubes in here, so it could be that. As for gearing, I don't know what is stock on a KTM 300 XC. I think that we dropped it down um, maybe two teeth in the rear to get a little more top end. Yeah, this is a 49. 49 and a, I don't know what the front is. I'm not counting it. So 49 rear and I'm pretty sure the front stock. So that might be stock gearing, but don't hold me to that. Don't roast me in the comments. I don't know. So the gearing is actually pretty cool. Say you're cruising fifth gear, you know, you can cruise 40, 45, 50 mile an hour bogging the bike. You know, it runs, it runs really nice on the road. Super smooth. I'm um, another cool little thing for my dad since he's always having trouble wrapping straps up around these bars. I got him these little uh, eye loop things that go in your front top triple clamp. Take the bolt out, put the eye loop in, hook your strap right to that and be done with it. He was having problems with the straps going up around the bars and they would come down and they would hit the turn signal. So now we mount the strap here. No more problem from hitting the turn signal with the strap. Why would you street legal a dirt bike? My answer to that is honestly, why not? Why wouldn't you street legal a dirt bike? Anyone who rides, anyone who races, anyone who has fun on these things here, let me tell you, I highly recommend trying to make your bike street legal. It's best to do it fully legit, have all your right paperwork, have it inspected, because you are gonna get pulled over. I mean, trust me, I'm riding a two stroke down the road past the cop. He's gonna be like, look at this cat here, riding a dirt bike down the road, and he's gonna pull you over. So. Do it fully legit, have the paperwork, so when they do pull you over, here you go officer, I wasn't doing anything illegal, everything's straight, okay, see you later, have a nice day. So that's my recommendation, do it. If you have any questions about the light kit or anything, post a comment below. I'll try to get to them. I'll post the information. Uh, I think the part number I have on the kit, I'll post that in the, in the uh, bio. So check that out. But that's it. It's a quick little day. It's super nice today. I've been riding around all day. Um, you want to see? You want to see something embarrassing? Okay, my helmet here is completely caked in mud. Like completely. And this mud is probably about a year old. I pulled it out of my gear bag and I'm like, oh my God. But that's it, man. Super cool day. I wanted to go riding, but it was absolutely a swamp in the woods. Like literally, if I would go step off the, off the pavement here in that grass, sink. I highly recommend you looking into getting your dirt bike street legal because let me tell you, if you get a couple people that can get together and have your bikes road legal and you're coming through a trail and you can hop onto a road go down the road and grab grab a bite to eat go to a gas station or whatever or just simply go cruise the road and look for trails it is a ton of fun literally a ton of fun highly recommend it but all right i'm gonna go hit the roads sounds a little weird you know usually i say we're gonna go hit the trails or the track or something 
But all right, I'm going to go hit the roads. I'm going to go uh, have some more fun on this bike right here for the rest of the day. I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace! Yeah. Uh -huh.